Hey, it's Alan Watts RC, and this is another video about my RPG game. So lately, at my job, it was very cold and it was raining quite a lot, so I had a lot of time to work on my raining chain project. So I've done many changes, uh, most of them they are not uh, visible for the player, but in this video I will focus mostly on what you guys can see. So first of all I've made a lot of change with the crafting system. So unlike RuneScape in my game, um, the, the items will be randomly generated. So for example, um, each weapon will, have, will be unique, so there is no um, like yeah, that's pretty much it. And I had to come up with a good system to randomize the item, and I think I've done a pretty good job. For example, this cape will give me a lightning defense, uh, will also give me more damage if I'm using a wand, and will also regenerate my life. So if I use this, my life is actually regenerating now. And this orb will add fire damage, leech life, um, so what, when I hit monster, I get HP back, cold damage, and finally 60% to knock back, which is quite good looking move. Oh yeah, and for the the reason why I'm moving so fast is for debugging. I kind of changed <laughs> the way the dodge worked. Well, obviously in the final game it won't be that way, but now I can dodge forever. So it's useful to get to an area very fast. But don't worry, it won't. See that way. Usually, in order to use dodge, I've totally changed the system for dodging. You cannot really see it, but before it had its own system, now it's simply a, um, a consequence of the spacebar input. And that way, I can add a lot more functionalities. And one of them is that it now's required dodge, um, I would say mana. So right now, it, it costs zero. But normally it will cost 75, so you cannot simply spam click the dodge option. There is a cooldown. Um, let's just craft other items. So this one will boost the amount of projectile I can shoot by 8%. So if it's not a wall value, then it's randomized. For example, if you have 8%, let's say you shoot 1.1, then 10% of the time you will shoot 1, and not the other way around. 10% of the time you will shoot 2, and 90% of the time you will only shoot 1. Let's just equip that. So I got a really more sophisticated system. For example, this one will allow me to summon monsters. For example, I don't know, and they will, yeah, they are not. <laughs> I've just made a couple changes with the system, but actually what you're currently seeing, two monsters fighting each other, is something I couldn't do with my old system. So I've totally remade the, um, the uh, target and it ooh, system. It was quite complex, but I guess I've done a pretty good job. And with this system I have, I can summon monster, I can have auras, so that will reserve, for example, mana, like a part of exile. I don't know if I will really use this system, but I can do it. That's the good thing. I got the possibility to, to do it. And also can change the dodge. For example, you could have an item that will um, for example, when you dodge, you get a 10% boost in defense and other things like that. Another big change I've made is Instance World. So this was not in my game before, so everything was shared with all the players. I'll actually log in with another player to show that. So for example, um, the bo both players are currently in the same world. Every monster, um, they see... like. I only have one copy of each monster and this is good most of the time but if you want to do a quest or something special then you need another system and there it is I simply teleport there are shitloads of code um, behind that but now in this world I'm alone so this is my will instance to myself so it's not there and this one can also teleport I don't know if I can come back that's oh yeah I can I can come back. Um, so if I teleport here, um, like you can see, it it's not there. And I got my own monsters. I can summon my own things, and it's uh, really cool. So now I can come back, I guess. And if I come back here, in theory, both guys should be. 
back together. Okay, perfect. I also added another very cool functionality and it's trading. Right now I'm still using the keyword. Obviously this, usually this must be hidden because it's, I wouldn't say it's like a password, but kind of like a password. So you can trade item. Let's see, I want to trade this. You select yes. If I decide to remove an item, then the trade state get some reset, I can accept, and here I come, I just got a sword. Um, other things have changed, uh, drop system. Before, like, it was really dumb, you had 100% chance of dropping stuff. Now I got a really more detail, so I can choose what item, what percent, and, um, well, I won't really go into the detail, but I got a pretty good drop system, got the trading system, Another big change that you cannot see is the amount of information I'm sending. Actually, I'll switch weapon um, and stop making random monster. A big, big change I've made and the other can, <laughs> is the amount of information that I'm sending. So before, I had, right at the beginning, I was sending like insane amount of information, like easily 100 meg per minute, which is far too too much for an online game. It would cost me like billion of cash to own a server like that. Can I attack my own monster? Apparently not. But now I've done, I had made a big change, so only send what's different, but now I've even made a bigger step. And if you look at my um, the information I'm actually sending now, I think I can do this, go into the console, this is what I'm sending. So it might seem a lot, but actually compared to what I had before, it's nothing. Like this is like, I send that a couple times per second. This is like absolutely nothing. It's like super condensed. And um, it, it says a lot of stuff. I don't know if I can just quit here, but yeah. and. This is a big step. It might not seem a lot, but now I've, I, I'm now at 0.2 meg per minute. And with this ratio, I can make it online with thousands of people at the same time, and I won't have problem, which is not what it was before I've made this system. And finally, uh, another big, big change is a quest system. So um, it's still a prototype. It's pretty much done I would say. So for example, this NPC can give me a quest, I accept the quest, she will give me a shield, I teleport with the shield, there is a monster, and actually I should show you if I come back and talk with her again, she has a different dialogue. And if I log in with another guy, I don't know if it will be, okay. If I log in with another guy, it will not be the case. So everything is like instance, well it's, <laughs> I mean, it's obvious that it will be instance, but it's hard to implement. And for example, this is a place I cannot go right now. So that's another thing I didn't have is instance, um, I would say collision system. And if you're wondering, this is me drawing something. And that's why I, I don't draw my own thing because it, they look horrible. So let's do the quest with this guy. So the very first thing I need to do is to collect a shield. Well, obviously the quest I'm currently doing is really crappy okay but it's only to show you guys what's possible so I one shot this monster it gives me a lobster which is a key long story short I changed the picture but not really the good way I come back then I talk with the gill again she will tank me and now the barrier is open and I can go through but with this player right there if I run here I can still not go through and if I quit it will save and so yeah, this quest is only like an example, but I can do really complex thing. Pretty much um, what RuneScape can do, okay, maybe not that far, but I can do anything that requires item, quest, you talk with a guy, you kill a monster, you activate a switch, or whatever, I can do it pretty easily. And I got a really uh, solid variable and, and quest variable system. So I guess that's pretty much it about my video right now and oh yeah forgot i i just kill like one shot the, the monster but i guess you guys would probably like to see how it actually uh, like i i think it's the first time i'm showing you guys this 
monster in the live stream. Normally I, I show it, or I put the link to the game and people try it out. So basically this is the second monster. So you need to avoid his um, fire circle of death or ray, whatever it's called, and then you kill it. Well, right now it's for the quest, but yeah, I can do pretty much whatever I want. Come back, and now I can go talk with the girl, and I don't know where he is, <laughs> where she is, but anyway. So I guess that's pretty much it about this video. I hope you liked it, and um, see ya.